G'day, John for the hot end. Today I'm going to talk about vapor smoothing and Ararum ABS filament. Okay, vapor smoothing. Vapor smoothing works using acetone on ABS. I haven't tried anything else, but um, that's what I use it for. Now I'm currently printing a model, which the link is here somewhere. Uh, and it was a good opportunity to show off uh, the vapor smoothing technique that I've, uh, well not developed, that, that I'm using. It's been around for quite a long time. Now before I start, please, 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 don't blow up your house. Don't burn down your house and don't say you were just saying what, just doing what I said to do. Acetone is very, very dangerous. In liquid form, it is highly flammable. In vapor form, it is highly explosive in a confined area. So please take every precaution that you can possibly think of before you try this. Okay, I went to a, a homewares type store and found this a glass container. It was actually marketed as a glass storage container. It's 10 inches in diameter and about the same in height. And it has a wooden lid with a hole in the middle, which I've got a bit of blue tack on. So I thought, let's give this a try. So I went into Tinkercad and made a little grid that will sit in the bottom of it. Now, naturally, um, this is printed in PLA, so it's reasonably impervious to ABS. So, yes, printed in PLA, and this just sits in the bottom of the jar like so. Now, I've had a couple of practice goes, and I found that my ABS models tend to stick a little bit on here. So I would suggest that you make sure that a surface that is not going to show is put down, or you can use maybe something like that, it's off a bulldog clip, sit on there and put your model on it and you won't have as much of a sticking problem. So, how do you go about it? Well, first thing you need is a model printed in an ABS, and here's two I prepared earlier. Um, you may have seen me post this on Facebook, I'll give you a close up of this at the end. But this is a Lunar Pony that was done in Ararum ABS which I vapor smoothed in here. And it, it's, it just looks fantastic, I love it. The gloss and the smoothness, it's just great, I love it. And the other thing I did, this is a handle that I have to replace uh, on a cupboard that I have, I broke the handle. So I just uh, found one on Thingiverse, redesigned it a little bit, printed it in ABS and again, smoothed it in there and it came out really nice too. So, the model I'm printing at the moment is to do with my other hobby, which is woodwork. Now, I'm not sure if I said the, where the link was, but it was up there if it's not already. And this is the handle part of that device. This is straight off the printer and it printed at uh, 0.24 from memory, layer height. And if you can hear that buzzing, that's my FT5 printing the rest of it over there. So, I'm going to vapor smooth this today. There's a couple of different ways you can do it, depending on how much time you've got. First off, you've got to make sure it fits in your little thing over here, and it does, so that's fine. Now we have to add the acetone, and that will create a vapor inside the jar, which will smooth the part. Now, Acetone I use is just from the local hardware store. It's acetone, sold as acetone. So what we're gonna do is pour a bit of that into the bottom of the jar. You don't need much, just for oh, not even quarter of an inch in the bottom, okay? So yeah, you pour a little bit in the bottom, you put on the lid, and you can leave it at that. Now, without any other thing to do to it, that will take two or three hours 
at room temperature for those vapors to penetrate and, and soften the outside of that model. There is an alternative if you want to speed the process up and that is to warm the acetone. Now I've tried that. What I did was I placed it on the heated bed of the FT5 and heated the bed to 60 degrees. Now that warmed the acetone uh, and sped up the process no end. I did that with, with this one and that was only in for, for what? Oh, four or five minutes, I guess, thereabouts. Um, you've got to keep an eye on it. Now, again, this is another safety factor of this. Never, ever, ever leave it unattended for any reason whatsoever. Do not walk away from it because it's just so dangerous, all right? I would even recommend doing it outside. Um, and that way you get rid of the fumes, which can get nasty uh, and a lot of the danger as well. So, yeah, that four or five minutes for that one. A couple of minutes, three, four minutes for that one. And if I warmed this up, yeah, the same, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and that would be done. But today I'm just gonna do it at room temperature because uh, here in Australia today, the outside ambient temperature is around 36 degrees Celsius. It's hot, damn hot, real hot. Hot of this is my shorts, I can cook things in it. Which is about 95 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's pretty damn warm outside. So I'm just gonna pop this outside uh, and let the sun do the work and I'll come back and show you the result and let you know how long it took in a minute. All right, just before I do that, I guess I, uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty hard this bit, show you about adding the acetone. Make sure when you take the lid off the acetone that there are no naked frames there. There are no naked flames, pilot lights, cigarettes, uh, anything that could possibly cause a spark anywhere near you when you're doing this. So you just pour some in. Like I said, you don't need a lot. That's probably enough. So the vapors are coming off that. Filling the jar, pop the lid on. It's not sealed, it's just on. And we'll come back to that in a minute. A few moments later. Okay, it's been about 50 minutes and being out in the sun was taking too long, so I brought it back in. And I have it sitting on the heated bed of my little TiVo here. Now I've got that bed at 56 degrees, and that's been cooking away nicely. And I think we can just about take it out. Probably needs a little bit longer, but for the sake of this, we'll take it out and I'll show you what it looks like. We might just turn that printer off first. Okay, off with the lid. Don't put your face over it because it really is quite strong. And we'll pull her out. If I can get it out. Okay, I've got that just sitting on a piece of paper towel on my desk. And I've had to turn it a couple of times and for the sake of speed and not accuracy, you'll see that I haven't been too particular about the marks that have been left, but all right, that's a bit of a close up. I don't have a fancy turntable like Anthony does, but this is the effect that you get from vapor smoothing. And you'll see this is the one we did. It's still warm and tacky. That's what she said. <laughs> That's how it works. Now I forgot to give you a before, so that's that's what it looked like before vapor smoothing. Hope you can see that all right. And this is after. Okay, so I hope you can see that all right. I'll just see if I can get a better look for you. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. It's come out rather nice. All right, that's all for this time. I'll see you next time.